Hello guys, how are you? It's another Tuesday again today and it's very dark and gloomy outside so I decided I wanted to add some color and I wanted to add some blue again <laughs> but this time it's a happy blue, it's a party blue so if you want to know how I was able to achieve this look, keep on watching So we're going to be doing our wing Okay, so just relaxing your eye I want to go out here because later on we will be connecting the lower lash line. I've done this with the previous video so we're just using the same technique and then we're gonna go to our Or where our crease is, I'm gonna go in there. We we'll always start here so that you know where you're going. Love how that that um, feisty shadow is like just melting in my skin okay it's okay if it's if it looks harsh because we're gonna be blending that later and then with this line that we did earlier I'm just gonna bring it back And then we're going to use our double-ended brush from Sephora. This is the 205 um, crease and shadow brush, but we're going to use the crease, the crease brush. And we're going to dip it into that uh, Mediterranean shade. We're going to put it on top of that feisty shade that we did earlier. Feisty shadow there. Okay, so I'm just doing the outer corner up to the middle and then this outer corner here as well. And then just going in the middle. Okay, and then we're going to dip our, we're going to get, we're going to use another clean brush. It's still, oh, my brushes are wet. Because <laughs> I don't want it to be too dark blue, it's scary. Just going to dip my brush into that koi shade and then just very lightly I just want to go on top of that and the edge just to lighten that a bit I'm gonna be using this flat brush this is a tapered that brush and I'm gonna be dipping it into that koi again and then just going on top of that there you go that's more like it and then bringing it in okay but I'm just doing it really really with just a very light 
stroke so if you can see how I hold my brushes at the end so that I can be certain that I'm not putting too much pressure there okay so now that it looks blended I'm gonna go and dip my brush into that koi and mediterranean just trying to look for another brush so that I know I've got another clean one So let's use this brush and I'm going to dip it into Mediterranean and Koi. So I'm just going to mix this two together. And then I'm going to start from the middle, just where that color is, and then I'm going to go down. Okay. Right, and then we're gonna go back into that um, angled brush, the six zero brush from Scott Vines, and then we're just gonna finish this line so we can close it up. I'm gonna go back here again. I want to make sure that I wing it, okay? Okay. And then just using a fluffy brush, dipping it into koi. And then just on top of just the edges of that makeup. I'm going to go in and blend that. Okay, just going back to that brush. I'm not adding any more, I'm not adding any more product, just whatever is left there. And then just brushing it in. Okay, just adding a tiny bit of that blue and I wanted to concentrate on this area. then go back to that brush and then dip it into koi okay let me just go back to this brush where we mix the mediterranean mediterranean and the koi And then starting from here again, we go down. Okay. And then I just go back again and then just do the edge. There's no shadow. We're going to do a cut crease in that. I'm going to use my primer again to do that. Okay, so we're going to use a flat brush and this is also for Morphe and I'm still going to use the same primer that we used earlier. This is the translucent primer. So I'm just going to add that into my brush. And then just add it there. I normally start at the top. I normally start there. And then I work my way down.
okay and now while that is tacky I'm gonna use the same brush and I'm going to dip it into first class okay that first class there I'm going to use that so oh my god <laughs> it's party time okay whoa It really is body time. Okay. Now we're just using the same brush that we use for that Mediterranean color. Not adding any more product. We're just gonna brush it out like that so we don't have that harsh line. And then up here. Okay, and then using the same brush that we used earlier for our mixture of Mediterranean and Koi. I'm just going to go back there. And then just connect that. Just brushing it. So that there's no harsh line between those two shades, between the matte and the glittery one. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, that's really nice. I'm just going back to that same brush where we use our um, the Koi shade and then just buffing the edges again. Just so we don't have that harsh line. That's nice. I really love that gradient color. Okay, so now we're gonna do the lower lash line. We're going to connect these two together. Actually, before we do that, I'm just gonna go back into this Sephora, uh, not Sephora, the Scott Barnes angled brush. I just wanna go back into that brown line that we did earlier. Just want to make sure that we don't have any harsh line, okay? Just gonna go back there. I've got glitters all over my eyelash. Okay, now let's do the lower lash line. So I'm going to be, I'll use a more precise brush. Okay, where are you? So let's use this flat brush also from Morphe. I'm going to put down in the description box the name because it comes in a set. So I'm going to be using this so that I can be in that lash line there. So just dipping it into that Mediterranean shade. Now when you're using this cut burn spell, it's so pigmented. So just be careful. Try not to put too much and then just add if you need more. Okay, just very lightly and just going under my lash, on my lower lay, lash line. And then just connecting this two together. And then just, just buff it so that you don't have any harsh line. I'm just using a rounded brush. Let's see if it's not wet. Okay, so I'm just buffing in. And then I'm going to use the same brush and I'm going to dip it into that Koi shade. And then just putting it on top of that. Oh, that's pretty. 
it looks like an ocean <laughs> for some reason it does look like an ocean okay so now we're going to go back to our angled brush and we're going to dip it again into that feisty shade just the tip of the brush and we're just going to connect this two so that we can kind of close it up okay and then we'll bring it in just up to there give it a buff okay now to give it a bit of a to make it more dramatic I'm going to use this NARS eyeliner okay this is a black eyeliner it's a um, high pigment long wear eyeliner I really really love it it looks like a crayon but it's nice and soft and creamy it's not like the other eye, um, eyeliner, pencil eyeliner that when you put into your waterline, it's going to make you cry because it's too rough. This one is really nice. So I'm just gonna put it on my waterline. There you go. My eyes are just so sensitive, whatever. You know but this is really soft it's just my eyes is dramatic as well like me <laughs> it's really nice I really love it all right guys I think we've done this eyeshadow all we need to do is just finish this with some mascara and false eyelashes to make it to give it a you know to give it a to make it more dramatic I'm losing my words so for my mascara I'm gonna be using um, Scott Barnes Palm Top Mascara and then for my falsies I'm gonna be using Scott Barnes Falsetto Lashes and this is called Gina okay so I'm gonna do the other side of my eye I'm gonna finish this look and I'll see you shortly hello guys we're back so this is now our final look for our blue glam night <laughs> but yeah, I really love it. I actually love the colors. I really love that deep blue there. So we were able to achieve all of this by just using the Scott Barnes color bomb. It really is a color bomb. So it is hot. It is very much pigmented. Like what I said, like what it says in the palette. It says pigment palette because it is very pigmented so if you're going to use it just be very careful and then just keep on building it you know while you're doing your makeup and you'll be fine and yeah if you want to maybe put some more on the lips that's fine i just felt like i want to tone down everything so that you know the eyeshadow will stand out because if you put too much and then it's just gonna I mean, it's just gonna hide all the work that you've done for the eyeshadow. But um, what else can I say? Um, how many brushes did we use? So I use, I used too many. <laughs> no, actually, no. So I just use this for, you know, the wing. And then I use this one for that dark blue there. And then this one for the combination of that um, blue, the Mediterranean, and the Koi, this flat um, tapered brush. And then this one, this crisp brush, this is just specifically for the Koi so that I can blend the edges and I won't have those harsh lines. And then this one, we use this to uh, do the cut crease and for our 
glittery eyeshadow and that is called first class and then this one we use for our under eye for our lash line under eye lash line is that right and then i use i actually use two more but i can't find it anymore oh there it is so i use the rounded brush it's like a pencil brush for morphe i use that to buff the under eye and then i also use koi so that the under eye is not too harsh there's no harsh line when we put in the mediterranean and then this fine one it's also a pencil brush there you go very influencer i use that in the inner corner i think i didn't show you the inner corner of the under eye i just added the first class shade just so i can also have the color here and here there and then like what i said earlier i just finished the eye with some mascara and some false lashes from scott barnes and this is gina so lovely i really love it yep there you go all the all of the makeup that i use here i'm gonna put it down into the description box so that you know you've got some reference if you want to use all the makeup that i use but you know you can use any palette you don't have to use scott barnes but i would highly suggest use this palette because of the pigments you can really achieve this look and then yeah if you haven't subscribed to our channel please click that subscribe button and the bell next to that so you can be notified every time we post a new video until next time guys it was so lovely playing makeup with you and i hope next time we can also hang out again see you again bye